why you're feeling disconnected from everyone during your spiritual awakening. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever felt like you're waking up from a dream and need to realize that everyone else is still asleep? That's what we're diving into today. Imagine this, you've had a spiritual awakening and suddenly everything you thought you knew about yourself and the world around you starts to unravel. You see through the illusion of separateness and realize that the boundaries that once defined you were just constructs of the mind. But here's the kicker. As you awaken to the truth, you look around and see that most people are still lost in their own illusions. It's like they're all living in their own little dream worlds, completely unaware of the reality that lies beyond. So how do you stay connected to others when you're no longer buying into the dream? That's the question we're exploring today. Stick around as we delve into the complexities of spiritual awakening and the feeling of disconnect that often accompanies it. And if you've ever experienced something similar, I'd love to hear about your journey in the comments below. Let's dive in. Number one, the rocky road of spiritual awakening. Contrary to what you might think, spiritual awakening isn't always a walk in the park. Sometimes it can leave you feeling totally out of sync with the world around you. As you become more aware of yourself and your surroundings, you might start to notice things that just don't sit right with you. It's not about agreeing or disagreeing. It's about finding meaning. You might find that the things other people love or care about just don't do it for you. You try to get into the same movies, books or celebrities as your friends, but it feels like you're faking it. You're just not interested. And that can be frustrating and even a little scary. Lots of people stick to the same old routine their whole lives because they're afraid of what might happen if they step off the beaten path. But as you delve deeper into your spiritual awakening, you might start to feel that same sense of unease, even if you're in the same place doing the same things as before. You might clash with your surroundings and feel like some things just aren't right. Number two, the lonely journey of spiritual awakening. Another reason you might feel disconnected from others during spiritual awakening is that it often involves a lot of alone time. Figuring out who you really are, what you believe in, and how you fit into the world is a big part of the process. Think about it. All the ancient texts and wise philosophers talk about the importance of spending time alone, meditating, and reflecting on life. There's a reason for that. Finding truth and meaning requires deep introspection, and that's hard to do with a bunch of people around. Spiritual awakening isn't something you can achieve over brunch with friends or a night out at the bar. It takes serious soul-searching and concentration, and that's something you have to do on your own. Number three, the lonely road of spiritual awakening. Forget the idea of always being happy. Spiritual awakening is way more complex than that. Famous spiritual gurus say that even if you reach some super high level of spiritual stuff, it doesn't mean you're better than anyone else. Getting famous isn't the point. Instead, you get tools and knowledge to help others. But while everyone else is climbing to the top, you might feel like you're stuck, trying to stay humble and modest while everyone else is getting ahead. Number four, the crazy ride of spiritual awakening. Going through spiritual awakening feels like falling into a deep, dark hole with no end in sight. Few people get what you're going through. Some might even think you're being selfish for diving so deep into yourself. It's a tough journey that pushes you to your limits, filled with pain, confusion, and suffering. And forget those quick fix solutions or trendy retreats promising all the answers in a week. That's not how real life or spirituality works. Spiritual awakening is like playing solitaire. It leaves you feeling alone and confused. It's messy and chaotic, making you face your deepest fears and demons. It's not just a phase. It might feel like you're losing your mind or stuck in a weird alternate reality. As you go through this, you'll feel more and more disconnected from people living regular lives, doing their nine to five or hanging out at the bar. You're on a journey to the core of existence, while others are caught up in everyday stuff like paperwork or chasing social media likes. You might start getting annoyed with people who only care about temporary pleasure or boring tasks. You've realized life is way deeper than that. Number five, sorting facts from fiction in spiritual awakening. One hotly debated issue surrounding spiritual awakenings 
is that sometimes they could be mistaken for mental health conditions. Remember the quirky guy at the gym in Oaxaco we talked about earlier? Well, in my opinion, he seemed to display signs of disorganized thinking and paranoid beliefs. He talked about some pretty wild theories that didn't make much sense or follow any logic. Now, was he dangerous? Absolutely not. But it's possible he was dealing with some mental health challenges. Now, don't get me wrong, not everyone who believes in conspiracy theories is dealing with a mental illness. Plenty of people find those ideas intriguing. But if you're convinced that none of us are real, or that Bill Gates is best buddies with Osama bin Laden, or that the moon landing was all a hoax, it might be a good idea to chat with a healthcare professional. Number six, the quiet side of spiritual awakening. One reason you might feel disconnected from others during spiritual awakening is that it's often not something you can put into words. Sure, talking about philosophy and religion can be interesting, but real spiritual growth happens in the quiet moments. It's like when you're on a busy subway or listening to music and suddenly you feel something deep inside you shift. As you awaken spiritually, you might find that words don't quite capture what you're experiencing. It's like trying to describe a beautiful sunset. Sometimes there just aren't enough words. Instead, you have to let yourself feel it and think about what it all means. Number seven, the messiness of spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening isn't something you can neatly package and put a label on. Even if you have some sort of enlightenment moment, it doesn't mean you'll suddenly become famous or understood by everyone. If you look online, you'll find tons of videos and articles claiming to have all the answers about positive thinking, vibrations, and cosmic shifts. They sound pretty confident, but it's not always as deep as they make it seem. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the realm of spiritual awakening. As we conclude this discussion, we encourage you to reflect on the profound insights shared and how they resonate with your own spiritual journey. Remember, the path to awakening is a continuous exploration filled with both challenges and revelations. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future content. Sharing this video with your friends and loved ones can also spark meaningful conversations and inspire others on their spiritual path. And for those seeking further guidance on their spiritual journey, be sure to check out the free book and one-on-one -on -one consultation offered in the description below. Your continued growth and enlightenment are our priority. Until we meet again, may you continue to embrace the journey of awakening with open arms and a curious mind. Stay woke and stay blessed.